afternoon. Many people are cleaning up after the storm. High winds and rain overnight caused lots of damage across the tri-state area. Trees came down on brownstones in Brooklyn and across train tracks blocking New Jersey transit trains during the morning commute. We have team coverage starting with Christina Fan live at Newark Penn Station. Christina. Well, Chris Mary, the morning rush is over now, but thousands of panic commuters, they came to stations all across the state trying to find alternative ways to get to work this morning. Newark Penn Station here, one of their destinations. NJ Transit had to suspend service for one of its busiest lines after last night's storm toppled a tree onto the tracks near Maplewood. The tree not only fell onto the Morris and Essex line, it also took down overhead wires and a catenary pole, damaging crucial power infrastructure. The Gladstone line was also impacted and remains suspended at this time. Harried commuters either had to drive or Uber themselves to Secaucus or Newark Penn Station, sending prices soaring. One man told us he had already parked and paid at the Summit train station when he found out the service had been suspended and scrambled for a solution. The whole morning's been a disaster to... Uh... Uh, trying to uh, drive down here and uh, some of the construction. I used to park in the uh, garage across the street. I got the last available spot. NJ Transit is cross-honoring tickets on other lines as well as its bus service, but commuters say those options are not helpful because they have to find ways to get to those other train stations. The big question now is, will these disruptions last until the afternoon? NJ Transit has not given an ETA on when service will resume, setting up the possibility of another disastrous evening commute. We are live from Newark Penn Station. Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Okay. Christina, thanks.